Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sofia Palace the Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff Committee of Pakistan Armed Forces, Nadim Rita, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom, where he conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of the President of Pakistan, Araf Alvi, and Prime Minister Imran Khan, and their wishes of further progress and prosperity to Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the guest and asked him to convey his greetings to the President and Prime Minister and his wishes of development and advancement for Pakistan. His Majesty expressed pride in the advanced level of Bahraini-Pakistani relations, noting that such visits come in line with the joint keenness on bolstering cooperation and coordination to achieve joint interests. He hailed the contributions of the Pakistani community in Bahrain to the development of all fields. His Majesty hailed the deep rooted relations between Bahrain and Pakistan and the growth and progress they witness in all fields, especially defence and military cooperation. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the honourable stances of Pakistan in strengthening security and stability in the region. During the meeting, the two sides discussed regional and international developments and topics of common interest. For his part, the Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee of Pakistan Armed Forces expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and his keenness on developing bilateral relations for the interest of the two countries and their people. His Majesty the King's advisor on diplomatic affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, was received by the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. The advisor delivered a message from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the President on bilateral ties and the developments in the region. The advisor conveyed the greetings of His Majesty and wished Egypt further progress and prosperity. For his part, the President extended his greetings to His Majesty the King and wished the Kingdom further prosperity. He affirmed the deep rooted bilateral ties and the Kingdom's supportive positions. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed affirmed the Kingdom's pride in the bilateral ties on all levels in light of the keen interest of the leaderships of the two countries to further to develop them in the interests of the two countries and peoples. He praised Egypt's strategic role under the leadership of the President, which affirmed security and stability of the region. The meeting discussed topics of mutual interest. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 64 of 2021 on the rules and regulations of distributing land for ownership. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, honoured the memory of the latest Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa with the presence of First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, by opening a mosque after His Highness Sheikh Faisal's name. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for making places of worship available to citizens and residents, which reflects the royal vision of looking after members of all religions and sects. He said that the mosque opening comes as part of the royal directives to deliver the message of Islam and its principles and to maintain national unity. He added that the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister has been key in carrying with the building of such places of worship and expressed thanks to all who are involved in completing the project. His Highness unveiled the mosque's plaque and then toured it.
the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed the victory of the Spanish Cadoba football team in the Spanish Federation Cup, highlights the support that the team received from the club's Bahraini head of management, and affirms the team's successful march in the current season. His Highness stated that the title will be an incentive to exert further efforts in the coming period. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that the conditions created for the Spanish team played an influential role in creating the ideal atmosphere during the tournament to achieve a success that the future generations of the club will remember. His Highness expressed keenness on providing full support to the Spanish team during the tournament. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that he had followed up on the team's journey and was very confident in the players' abilities to provide the best performance in the final match, adding that the high spirit of the team members had a prominent role in achieving victory and winning the title. His Highness stated that Cadoba team's achievement will be a positive and influencing factor on the team's journey in the coming period to continue to achieve positive results. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the management of Cadoba Club, the technical and administrative staff, the players and the fans of the club, wishing the team for further success in the coming period. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his office in Al Wadi Palace the CEO of the Information and E-Government Authority, Mohammed Al Khaid. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcomed the guest and conveyed to him the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes for success for the authority's affiliates. His Highness reviewed with Al-Qaeda the authorities' plans to support sports bodies to achieve His Highness's goals and aspirations of implementing the directives of His Majesty the King of developing the sports sector. His Highness Sheikh Khalid discussed with Al-Qaeda a number of topics related to the authorities' projects that increase support and e-link policies in the implementation of administrative procedures to achieve the aspirations of strengthening the governance system. For his part, Al-Qaeda expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his efforts that contributed to developing the sports sector. He affirmed that the authority welcomes bolstering partnership and cooperation with the GSA to develop the sports fields in Bahrain. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the concluding ceremony of Bahrain Triathlon Season 2021 to 2022, organised by the Bahrain Triathlon Association. His Highness said that this represents a success story in Bahraini sports, thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and the keen interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He added that the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, have established the basis for the Kingdom's success in this field on the world stage through his leadership of the Bahrain Endurance Team 13 and the organisation of various international sports events, including the Middle East Triathlon. His Highness expressed keenness on further supporting the association in order to yield further achievements, whose leadership he praised for organising this event and further developing Bahraini sports. He also praised the display of the participating teams and congratulated the winners and wished the rest success in the upcoming competitions.
The government of Bahrain today announced the details of its strategic projects plan as part of the economic recovery plan during a meeting held by the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam Khalaf, the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Hamidan, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Kamal Ahmed, and the Minister of Housing, Basim Al Hamar, as well as other officials. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed that Bahrain, led by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, strives to continue its ambitious approach to implement various developmental requirements to achieve the aspirations of its citizens and create a promising quality opportunities for its people. He added that the approval of the Cabinet, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, of the Economic Recovery Plan, authorised the commencement of the new stage to build on developmental achievements. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah stated that the priority of implementing strategic projects plan will see over 30 billion US dollars invested in Bahrain's national infrastructure and its strategic priority sectors, comprising of 22 signature projects across key sectors, including telecoms, tourism, education, manufacturing and health. And the plan will also contribute towards the realisation of Bahrain's economic vision 2030. He added that Bahrain, the new projects announced under the Strategic Projects Plan, will build upon the Kingdom's 2015 infrastructure plan that delivered the new Bahrain International Airport Terminal, Alba's Line 6 expansion project and the AB4 pipeline. The ministers and officials reviewed the main features of the priority of implementing the Strategic Projects Plan, which come hand in hand with the other priorities of the Economic Recovery Plan, represented in creating promising job opportunities, making citizens the first choice in the labour market, facilitating trade procedures and increasing their efficiency, developing promising sectors and enhancing financial sustainability and economic stability. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Al Ziyani, headed the Kingdom's delegation to the fourth meeting of reviewing commercial policies at the World Trade Organisation. The Minister affirmed that the Kingdom's regional and international commercial standing is based on the principles of openness and attraction of foreign investment. He also discussed the Kingdom's policies during the pandemic and affirmed that Vision 2030 has been a roadmap to orient the Kingdom's economy along the principles of sustainability, competitiveness and justice. The Minister also affirmed that the Kingdom's keen interest in supporting small and medium enterprises to create employment opportunities along with the privatisation of various sectors, including education, health and public transport. The Minister of Industry, Trade and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Ziyani, met with the Director General of the World Intellectual Property Organisation, Darren Tang, during his visit to Geneva. During the meeting, a number of issues and topics of common interest were discussed in the fields of patents and trademarks. The Minister expressed appreciation for the organisation's efforts in the field of intellectual property and its leading role in establishing a balanced and effective international system to encourage innovation and creativity. Members of the Bahrain's Representatives Council paid a visit to the French National Assembly in the presence of Bahrain's Ambassador to Paris, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Representatives Council member Ahmed Al Ansari hailed strong relations binding Bahrain and France, led by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and President Emmanuel Macron. Chairman of the Bahrain French Friendship Committee, Al Ansari, noted the active cooperation between both countries and people. For her part, Chairwoman of the Bahrain French Friendship Society at the National Assembly, Patrice Perron, hailed the strong bilateral relations, commending Bahrain's development strides led by His Majesty the King. The committee included members of Parliament, Mandu Al Saleh and Sasan Kamal. The Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemned the terrorist Houthi malicious kidnapping of three additional employees from the US Embassy in Sana'a. The Foreign Ministry denounced the Iranian-backed malicious kidnapping of the employees of the US Embassy and the US Agency for International Development in Sana'a. This comes after Houthis stormed the embassy building a few days ago and detained a number of local employees and looted and vandalised the embassy's property. 
The Foreign Ministry confirms that these terrorist activities are a clear violation of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations and International Norms and Charters and called on the international community to condemn this cowardly terrorist act.